Hi, hey, hello, everybody. It is November the 1st, All Saints Day, and time for another edition of Freezer Treats here from the Icebox Radio Theater. Hope you enjoyed our uh, Halloween Horror Festival, Freezer Treats 13 Days of Halloween, which was completed last Friday. So we are returning now to our regularly scheduled program where we'll uh, offer up a freezer treat each and every Monday, each and every week, a new play for you to consider from the Icebox Radio Theater. And if you've already heard them, a play to reconsider. I've heard from a few folks uh, among our existing listeners who say they enjoy the freezer treats because they can, you know, they can go back and uh, remember a play that they haven't heard for a while. And of course, the links to the plays we featured, both the play and also the podcast on which it appears, always in the show notes of this episode. And today, one of my favorite episodes we're going to offer up, it is called Custard's Last Stand. Uh, and, and there's an interesting story about this. It is most definitely serious drama, serious family drama about what happens when people fall out of love and how the most unlikely of circumstance and most likely of family members can help them remember once again. So here is Autumn Silvers, myself and Ayla McIntosh in Custard's Last Stand. Custard? Custard! Did you check under the house? Oh, uh, yeah, the porch, yeah. Well, check under the whole house. Well, he could be anywhere under here, and I'm not crawling in after him. Oh, stupid cat. Stupid cat. Oh. Hey, what time is it? Um, it's three... God, it's nearly 3.30. She'll be home soon. We have to get him out. If she knew that cat got out after the last time, she'll throw a fit. Well, whose fault is that? What? Kitty, 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 kitty. I said, whose fault is that? The last time was her fault. She left the door open like I've told her not to a million times. That's not what I'm talking about. I don't understand you some days. What are you yammering about? Never mind. No, come on. What? It's not important. You brought it up, Jerry. You want to know what it is? I came home from work that night and Candy's in her room, inconsolable. She wasn't that bad. Because Custard got out and you filled her head so full of stories about Custard getting hit by cars or killed by wild animals, chased by dogs. It wasn't that bad. That she was clinging to the poor cat, sobbing. Remember going into her room at 2 a.m. because she wouldn't stop? I don't know who I felt worse for, Candace or the cat. She has to learn you can't leave doors open. Like you do? Shut up and help me find him. Custard! 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 Oh. Oh, God. There you are, you stupid cat. What is that smell? Oh, God, what did he get into? Oh, you've been rolling in the garbage, you idiot. Oh, I think that's a skunk. A skunk? Oh, for the love... Pick him up. (sighs) I'm not picking him up. You're the one who left the door open. You pick him up. Pick him up, Jerry. (sighs) School bus is here. What? The school bus. It just came around the corner. We have to get that animal inside and into the tub before she gets home. Are you crazy? She's going to be here in ten seconds. Just pick up the damn cat, Jerry. Oh, oh, let me get a tarp or something. Jerry! Custard, you're outside. No, 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 honey. Don't Don't touch him. Hugs. Ew. Oh, God. Mommy, I think Custard is sick. Uh, One of the lighter scenes. I should warn you, if you want to go listen to the entire play of Custard's Last Stand... Uh, there's, there's, uh, well, it's a story about sick pets, which is never very easy to take. And it was a difficult one to write. Interesting to note, the reason I wrote this particular play is that we had at the time a cat, uh, Tucker, who was about 13 years old, who was not doing too well. And it was a way for me to sort of process my grief, um, in, uh, in advance. And Tucker, uh, rallied and lived until he was about 19. <laughs> So there you go. Writing radio drama uh, saves pets, I suppose. But it was a a wonderful play. I think it came out very well. Hope you enjoyed listening to that brief sample. And again, if you would like to hear the whole show, Custard's Last Stand, it appears on the Invisible Stage podcast. That's our podcast that features all of our dramatic work. And uh, the link to the Invisible Stage podcast is below, as well as a link to Custard's Last Stand. That's it for this edition of Freezer Treats. I'll see you next Monday with another treat from the Icebox of the Icebox Radio Theater.